Ambaka silent in the midst of all this answers, uh, answers. Do you know when, when I started crying that our youth should rise up? When the yoke becomes unbearable, what does the Bible say? You resist it. Genesis 27, 40. It's in the car. All I'm trying to say is that the condition of our youth in this country. The conditions are unbearable. The conditions are intolerable. Not just in Buhari's regime. From the past administrations, it has been like this. So when we are ready to solve our problem, we solve it. Even the tax is not the problem. If we end the tax, Nigerian problem will not end. But I thank those who have started something. But I pray it should not be politicized. How can our graduates, after studying, have no job? In a country where a sitting senator will be sweeping millions and millions every month. It has been like this. It's not Buhari. How many industries have we for the growing generation? What plans have we for our children? The roads we are in total mess. Is there any money that should be approved to any Eastern governor that Buhari sees? Let us call the spade a spade. The system is wrong, is evil. We need the youth to rise up all the more. Otherwise, you will keep talking and you age away and die away. I'm ashamed of our leaders, even from the past. If you have ever gone to Dubai, a deserted area, none has become a magnet of the whole universe in terms of industrialization, in terms of economic revamp, in terms of housing, in terms of modern whatever technology, Dubai. It is that. What have we been doing with our oil money for years? Before the drop of the oil. Before you are born in Dubai, you are already a millionaire. But look at our oil, we don't know what to do with it. Few people swindling our money. When we are ready to solve the problem, before now they say Mbaka has said, whatever Mbaka said will be misinterpreted. If I keep silent, problem. If I talk, they say he's going political. Which one? Jesus. Matthew 22, verse 20. One, say, we're in case Caesar. Yes, Caesar, we're in case you go. So, all of my yes, Caesar, and yes, Caesar. All of my yes, you go, and yes, you go. There are some good aspects of this task paper, but there are some abuses. Which area of life in this country has not been abused? There are many things to end. Even the electoral system 
time should be corrected. Is it not time we pray that people who can urbanize Nigeria will emerge? People who can Americanize Nigeria? People who can Malaysianize Nigeria? People who can, oh, Londonize Nigeria? Japanize Nigeria? Koreanize Nigeria? Chinanize Nigeria? We have them. The name of Nigeria is neither ABC or BDP. Nigeria is a blessed country. And we have wonderful, ingenious, creative, inventive, blessed, self-sacrificing personalities who can change the image of this country. And it won't take them time. But some people have cannibalized and cabalized this country. Even the police we are talking about, how much are they being paid? How much? How many of them can train their children? Look at the military in the army. How much are paid to them? Many who die in the Sambisa forest are forgotten, not rewarded. Their families are abandoned. The reward mechanism in this country is zero. And people should be careful when they're talking about Mbaka said this, Mbaka said that. If God reveals to me as his prophet who is going to be the president, who am I to disobey God without announcing what God told me? I shall obey God rather than man without apologies. If tomorrow God reveals to me that a beggar in the land of Anywhere is going to be the president, and I see it clearly. I will speak. I'm a messenger of God. Everybody cannot be forced. If you are sounding presumptuous, mine is not presumptuous. I don't talk out of presumption. I talk out of clear vivid, lucid vision and prophecy. It's not a thing to brag about. It's not my gift. It's the gift of God. I'm just an unworthy instrument. So if you are talking, you're wasting your time. Because I cannot be intimidated. That's the problem. By the power of the Holy Spirit, since I know that what I'm doing is approved by God. I will just speak and go away and continue with my charity. If you accuse me of charity, you have gotten me. If you accuse me of praising God, you have gotten me. If you accuse me of worshipping the Lord, you have gotten me. If you accuse me that I am filled with passion for people's problems and conditions, you are correct. And if you want to say your own, you are free to speak. No matter who is influencing you and allow me. Anytime you talk against Madam Baka, you advertise me unnecessarily. Even when I have not paid you to advertise me. And I'm happily moving. But that the game. I'm happy that the youth are waking up from their slumber. It is never late. One person will be moving with 20 prado, 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 with your money. And you are thinking it is going to be well. When? Oh, they need security. And you don't need security. If everybody should be going with convoy, we will plan it. They don't have 10 heads. But we are, we are expecting more. Where the SARS people are not doing well, they should be corrected. And other areas. But I'm trying to tell you, that is not our problem. Our problem is on the head. The lawmakers and executives. And even the judiciary. 
So, but it, 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 we have to start somewhere. So may God bless those who are fighting for the wellness of the Nigerians. Whoever they are, may God bless them. So now I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the there is no reason why Nigeria should be like this up till now. There is no reason why we should have empty forests everywhere without any plan to agriculturalize all of them. 